it's like that fusion of consciousness and embodiment for me is uh, where the trust comes from. You know, feeling this, you know, feeling this body. I had so much trouble resting in my body throughout my lifetime. I was pretty disembodied. And I had, you know, sexuality and gender issues and so forth that really were problematic in my life and caused me a lot of, you know, bumping up against uh, the world. And, of course, age, you know, removes some of that, of course, you know. Um, but the more I have followed this path and allowed myself to become for, called forward, you know, I was called forward. I, I, I landed in the second birth. And then I continued, you know, I continued to work with teachers and go to sittings and attend workshops. And eventually, you know, I was, I was called. I had a lot of noise about whether I was going to be able to take any of these advanced courses. And then suddenly the way opened and I, I, was, I was led forward, you know, and I took the DSL and I took the AMS and was called forward to apply to become a mentor. I was called forward to apply to become an interning teacher. And so it's like the, the mutuality of that, you know, really just allowing myself to be led um, through what feels, what I feel in my body, you know, has been just a really amazing part of the process for me. You know, I'm aging um, and experiencing aging. I've had trouble with my spine, nerve pain, and, you know, sometimes it's quite difficult and uncomfortable, and yet... And, and there's fear that arises, like, oh, it's happening, you know. And yet undergirding all of that is this awareness that, that there's ultimately really nothing to do, nothing to be afraid of. And, and I was terrified of death growing up. It's one of my early memories from childhood. And, and, and I retained it for a long time into my adulthood. Um, it was a joke in my family that, you know, I, I wanted to be frozen, plugged in, you know, whatever. And my sister really, like, I will just say, we just unplug her. She can't hear us anyway. You know, <laughs> I wanted to be kept alive at all costs. I was terrified of death. And that has gone. I've, I've lost that. You know, that has fallen away. There's a trust in just the inherent nature of this short term lived experience as this particular form you know i don't know if this is making any sense at all but in any event you know that's what i trust in i trust i wake up in the morning and i feel myself and i feel the space and i see the light coming in and then i think oh shit <laughs> i've got to do this or that or phone has to be looked at doesn't matter fundamentally everything is okay and and i just that is unwavering for me at this point nothing to be afraid of even though I know some things will be hurtful, deaths will happen, losses will happen, disappointments will happen. But underneath of all that, fundamentally, everything is okay. And I just, I just trust that innately in a way that I, I don't think I ever, I know I never did. Um, you know, as a kind of recovering uh, know-it-all uh, from here, you know, I'm a college professor by training. I get paid to be a know-it-all, to know everything, to have all the answers. Uh, it's a not knowing is also a knowing in a beautiful sort of paradoxical way. It's like it's all good because no matter what happens, there's this. It's always, it was here before me, it'll be here after me. It's remembering that is, is the trust, I guess, yeah. I just love the... Um expression of you know this uh, this fund foundational fundamental you know ness of this wellness this okayness and what a profound before and after example of being afraid of death and then that not being an issue i mean that's a pretty stark contrast and i appreciate you highlighting that for the uh, people who are watching this video, I just want to um, unpack a couple of acronyms. Uh, DSL is Deepening Your Second Life. It's a, a, a class that's available to students once they've um, had their whole being realization. And AMS is Advanced Mutuality Skills, which is the third of three classes that 
practitioners need to complete um, in order to become a mentor in this work. And then from mentoring, there's a process to becoming interning, and interning teachers, which I'll let you know what that, what we mean by those terms. All right, thank you so much.